Okay, as you can see, I don't have video from uh, our early systems. So here are some pictures. You can see I've got a simple 40 gallon drum up on a workbench, gravity feeding through a couple filters into another drum, and that was pretty well it. Um, it worked okay. Uh, I ran into some issues as I covered in the other video. And uh, yeah, so once I got into that, I needed to have a better way to transport oil instead of, you know, five quart jugs at a time. So I built a, a little transport rack. It was a 55 gallon drum on a wooden platform, fit in the back of a SUV, and I could fill that drum up with a drill pump. It, uh, it worked well enough, and uh, yeah, so then we relocated, and when we did, we decided to upgrade to the 55 gallon per hour centrifuge setup. Got a couple IBC totes, set up the centrifuge using, using a power steering pump and an electric motor, a couple pressure switches for safeties, and uh, it worked pretty well for the six or seven years that we ran that setup. Okay, system's up to operating pressure right now. With the new switches installed, anytime pressure drops below 83 PSI or rises above 93 PSI, the system will completely shut down. You can see, gradually bring the pressure up and the high pressure switch will kick in it's got the whole system down so that means if the bypass ever plugs up when we're gone we don't have to worry about a line failing or blowing the centrifuge apart also we can override the low pressure switch here start the system back up bring it back up to operating pressure Which I like to run mine about 88, 90 PSI, somewhere around there. Once pressure comes back up, stabilizes, we'll shut the low pressure bypass switch off and see how it works. I come over here, I'll flip this switch, which shuts the bypass off. Now let's say motor overheats, belt starts slipping, line fails, something along those lines, something to cause a pressure drop. As the pressure starts to drop off, as soon as it hits 82, 83 PSI, the system shuts down. The system will not reactivate until the bypass switch is engaged. Once we got into the newer system with the pressure-driven centrifuge, we needed a faster way to move oil. So we picked up the inch and a half Harbor Freight trash pump and started using it. And uh, as you can see in the video, it does a fairly good job of moving oil around. Like I said before, there are many ways to do this. Um, we've done everything from filters and filter socks and five gallon buckets to a pressure driven centrifuge and now the single pass unit. And uh, we've, we've got our hands dirty with all of it. So uh, yeah, each one was an improvement. Uh, the pressure driven centrifuge would pull metal out of the filtered oil that we had because the first batch we ran was a batch of oil that we had ran through the filters and uh, kind of surprised me at how much stuff the little pressure driven centrifuge pulled out of our clean oil so that was a shock and then when we stepped up to the single pass it was just that much more so each step has been an improvement and uh, now i think we're pretty well as good as we can get on our on our scale so uh, yeah if you have any questions or anything else about Basic filtration, you want to set up filters, fine. I'll, I'll gladly uh, give you information on that. Um, you want to run a pressure-driven centrifuge? We've done that for years. It works great. Um, hit me up in the comments, and I can uh, try to help you out there, too. So, anyways, uh, just want to thank you for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.